This is sister. This the little bopper. She cute though. I seen her in the video sucking nigga dick. Lord bottom. She got mad at me, I had to block her. She told me this is childish. God bless you. No, God bless you. With the motherfucking lips and the way you did that with your tongue with that extra little bit of spit before you popped on them on top of that man, I'm telling you, baby girl, God bless you. The fuck you I'm trying to get a blessing from you. The fuck I hope God talk to you until you can kiss this motherfucker like you know what I'm saying. Want to put your lips on the nigga dick? I see your brother went through your phone. He must have seen your videos, and now he want to lie and just steal your your glow. He want to just say he suck a dick the whole time. You the dick sucker, motherfucker. You bad motherfucker. Fuck that shit though. I got bitch tonight. He's on the docket. He's on the docket. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can I do him? Can I do like he do? Can I do a him on him? If my cash shop don't get me $500, y'all will not see his girl. I said girlfriend. Y'all will not see his sister sucking dick. I'm going to get a strike, and I'm going to lose my life. So for $500, I'm willing to take this one strike for the team. Like he said, he ain't going to lie unless he. So guess what? I'm going to pull a wheel on wheel. We're going to need $500 at 8 o'clock to see her sucking his dick because I'm going to get a strike. I know we're going to strike. I might lose my whole Instagram because of this motherfucking video. I'm just here to tell you. It's a we already saw it. And okay. We're going to post it again. If you seen Will sister. Little slut bag, the NBA baller. If you've seen these two videos or heard, the, uh, you'd be crazy, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to lose my Instagram for this. I'm about to pull a wheel, y'all, sweet ass cash shoppers. Okay. They say everyone seen it but me. They lying like shit. The people that saying they seen it, that's a will techniques. Don't fall for this, y'all. That's will from its big page saying we already seen it. For people to say they can see it, Ooh, tell the person who said they seen it, go DM them and send it to you. When they don't send it to you, realize it's an effect to get the attention off them. I said I was going to leak this shit at 8. Will said he's going to go live at 8 so he can get more people in there. We ain't playing them type of games. I don't give a fuck if it's two people over here. Will, though, he wrong. Will been stealing. And I'm starting to think Will might be a murderer, y'all. Think about it. His grandmother died after he stole the money. The nigga died after that. He stole the money. Fuck is all these people dying and he just keep moving on and this money crisis and people just chasing them and shit about money. This, this nigga out here real life killing people. Did he hold his grandmother jump and try to get the Will money? Did he hold the pillow over dumb? What the fuck? I don't know what happened. Is he killing these people? I seen this shit on like Lifetime. Like this some Lifetime movie network shit. Like the, the revenge of the homeless man. This shit is crazy. The revenge of the duck ass homeless man. This some Lifetime movie network shit. Let me tell you this. He took dick. And the Bible said when you take dick, God don't fuck with you. You ain't going to heaven. You're going to hell. Boom. God don't fuck with him. His mother and father found out their son was gay. The son they had, they had sex, had a baby, and the baby came out and fucking gay-ass duck. They don't fuck with him. He got to move to grandma's house. He steals $75 from grandma, and all of a sudden, mysteriously, grandma died. 
Like, in the midst of him beefing with grandma, grandma die. he don't go to the funeral or nothing. Like, he didn't go to grandma's funeral. It's, it's fishy to me. If I was a reporter behind the wheel and shit, that would look fishy in the report to get the money. It would be a red flag. But fuck that. Look. Grandma died. Then he moved to another nigga, a faggy nigga. Ooh, he fucked with the faggy nigga. The faggy nigga signed this life to him. The faggy nigga died. Now the faggy nigga, kids and family looking for him, and he running with the faggy nigga money on the wheel. He didn't even get the money yet because the family took taking his ass to court because they don't know Will. Who the fuck is Will? Will the nigga that the nigga was fucking. Nigga might have got high and drunk, and Will might have tricked him to sign. I told some fam, it's some uh some Lifetime movie that was shit going on. Will might have got him drunk, something, and made him sign some paper for some papers. We don't know. Then the nigga died. Then Will might try to get the money. Then he just died. Like, then Will thought he was getting the Will cash out. I don't know. Rock a broke shit going on out here, though. Know? This shit's crazy. And then after they died, some other little girls got hit by cars. I don't know if they died. I don't know. But some little girls got hit by the cars. Will raised money for them, made a cash out in their name, and ain't send them shit. He used their death for money. He out here on some vicious Lifetime movie network shit. He abusing the shit out of death. Then for he to get clout, he go fuck with the niggas that got a buzz and stop paying gay shit on them. He's dangerous. And then for the niggas that aggressive to him, like a nigga like Craig that away from him outside with a gun, he'd call the police on him. He called the police on the aggressive niggas. And the, this shit is crazy. This is beyond me, though, Slim. Then he fucked up $40,000 in the bathroom. He got a PPP loan. He got the nigga wheel money he ran from. The $75 he stole from his grandmother. The 500 he got cash out that he need to go live from his supporters. The other thousand dollars he got when he faked the broken arm for a cash out. Plus the 1500 he got for the little girls that got hit by the car. So he spent $40,000 in the bathroom. He never left the bathroom. Like, what the fuck? He's just a, he's a cash out finesse. His name is the cash out finesse. He reported all these Instagrams. He, every big platform, he reported them jokes so you can't tell on him. It's like he got the perfect Lifetime movie story. Like, he he reported every big platform so you can't really tell on him. Woo, woo, woo. He, then he fucking with real niggas. Ain't nobody playing the report game. It's cool. We're going to report his cash out. We can report his cash out. Everybody here reporting his cash out. His cash out is dangerous. He always stealing from the dead. He taking from the needy. He taking from grandma. This nigga is dangerous. This nigga is crazy. We need to stop this nigga. This nigga is really... Fucking dangerous, young. He got a whole plan, Lewis. And look, and all in the midst of him having a stroke. And he had a stroke. And he had a stroke. I'm telling you. And he's still doing this shit with a stroke. He got 10 phones and 70 pages. He prepared to go to war with anybody on his Lifetime Movie Network shit. Watch out. Everybody around him die. And he gets some money shit going on. Watch out, so. Watch out, so. This shit is crazy. Somebody talking about turtle. Are you okay? Look, though, that's why you calling me turtle. I'm confident with myself. You calling me turtle because Lunty Lohan is Will's best friend. The white Range Rover he took a picture in with the when you gonna slide hoodie in the snow with the red inside. That's Lunty Lohan huh, Range Rover. She sucked my dick 75,000 times every which way. I fucked her a million times. What the fuck? She can go discuss my dick to Will any day she want to discuss my dick to Will. The fuck? That's her and Will on some faggy best friend shit. He ain't tell you that the bitch he be with ate this dick up, you know what I'm saying? But it's cute. His sister, Bobba, sis, he don't talk to me sucking dick shit. We gonna show the world his sister talents. The fuck? We gonna show the world his sister talents. I don't even know Will. I never even seen Will a day in my life. Will can't tell you one day he ever seen me or seen me somewhere or nothing. A picture or nothing. Will's a fucking liar. Will the same nigga that me and Cray was about to fight over. Me and Cray was about to fight because I said, man, that's Cray faggy ass nephew. And Will got on the camera like, boy, I don't even know who Will was. Never seen him or nothing. Just clout chasing, just digging the butt ass nigga. Man, you fucked the tranny. I got the tranny with me, the tranny and Wendy's. Ten months later, we never seen that tranny and Wendy's. The Wendy's on New York Avenue ain't even there no more. The bitch still in there? Was she still in there? Then he get on Clubhouse and say, man, nah, I apologize. And you a real nigga. I did that shit just for clout. Can I get some clout? Can you put me on? If I apologize, could you put me on? I'm like, all right, bro, I accept your apology, bro. You can run the Clubhouse on some faggy shit, bro. It's all right, cool, bro. Go ahead. You just press the buttons and shit. Be a moderator. Do what faggies do, bro. If a nigga get hungry in the trap, bro, your broke ass, we're going to use your car. We're going to send you some money to put on your car. It wasn't like... The reason is cash out is because he broke his shit. He had the card. We had to send the money to put on his card. It wasn't like he was using his card money. He didn't have no fucking money. I had to send him $50 to get him some food because I'm like, Will, we just ordered food off your car, bro. It's a homeless man. We used the homeless man credit card to buy food. We not going to offer the homeless man no food. Like, huh, bro, it was $50 for you, bro. Go get yourself something to eat. Get yourself together, bro. That's what happened. These niggas is clout chasing, man. These niggas just want to be something. 
They say the day will lie was so funny because I believed it at first. Everybody believed he a faggy. That's what faggies do. He ain't tell you he had a deadbeat brother. He ain't tell you his sister the biggest dick sucker in the city. He ain't tell you he stole seventy five dollars from his grandmother. He ain't tell you the nigga died and his kids chasing his ass around town. He ain't tell you his ass in the program on some hot shit. He ain't tell you he snitched on Craig. He ain't tell you he sent my little brother back to jail. He ain't tell you he don't tell you none of the truth. He don't tell you shit. He don't tell you he got a twenty thousand dollar PPP loan. He never left the bathroom. How the fuck did he spend the money? He don't tell you he used the kid's death for fifteen hundred. He don't tell you he ain't going live unless y'all give him five hundred. What the fuck is he doing with the money? What the fuck is he doing? Because was part of it. What the fuck going on? Jay Nice just happy he got left. Michi wish he had on a dress. Fuck, it's a rock of bullshit on him. We not fucking with you. Nah, no bullshit. Not today. This is not what we on. We not going to tolerate that. Freaky Shoes is not popping anymore. That's not what we talking about. Michi today is not going to show his face. Jug was not conscious at that fight. He talking about the next scam. Yeah, y'all got to watch Will, y'all. He just out here scamming. He just a dirty-ass fag. He just trying to get money. He trying to get money from y'all. His sub he said y'all ain't his supporters because y'all ain't sending him 500. He a grown-ass man. He older than everybody on Instagram and asking us for money. He stole from his grandmother, stole from the faggies. He stole from everybody. And they stole from dead people, kids, like cocks and kids. Cancel his ass. Like, at least his credit card. Report his cash out. He's extortion. I want to report some report scratch out. That nigga's wrong. Niggas is dead wrong. Then his brother's a deadbeat. You just had twenty thousand dollars PPP loan. You ain't get your brother a thousand dollars to go spend on his kids. This baby still talking about your deadbeat. You don't even get fuck about your family. You ain't get your nephew none of that. You had twenty thousand dollars PPP loan. Your brother baby mother still think you're a deadbeat. So worrying about the tea. You forgot you had your own cup over there, and that motherfucker was full. They say you telling us everything, but what made you stop fucking with him? That's the part. We never got into it. The day he told me he was fucked up, his car was got towed or something, and he's towed on Cray, an anonymous tip for $2,500. I stopped communicating with that nigga. I get on Clubhouse, he'd be like, damn, A, you ain't need text back. Damn, A, you ain't was like, y'all all here. When I get on Clubhouse, damn, and where you in? Oh. He realized that I caught on to something. Because now his ass, I ain't in no clubhouse. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't nowhere near that. I ain't even dealing with his ass. So he come up with a fake story, some sucking dick shit. Me and Will never got into it. Why was a sucking dick story coming out? Because he told on Craig. He told me out his own mouth. He got $2,500 anonymous tip reward for a firearm on Craig. And I stopped fucking with him. He told on Craig. Go ask Craig. He hot. The fuck? That's the reason I stopped fucking. We never got into it. The fuck? This is the diversion to defend itself. The, the, the sucking dick and the gay shit. Time out. If you, if a gay person get into anything, the first thing they gonna show is throw some gay shit on your name. Like if you get into any type of gay person, you're a straight person, the first thing they do is throw shit on top of your name. Will is hot. Will told me out his own mouth, he told on Craig for $2,500 because his car was in a motherfucking shop. It got towed and I never fuck with that nigga again. And if you think I'm lying, go ask Craig. This is his blood uncle. Go ask Craig, is Will hot? What the fuck is you talking about? That's the reason. They say, why you need 500 though? Because Will need $500 from his supporters. So I need $500 to leak this motherfucking video. Because when I leak this video, guess what? My Instagram costs more than $500. My chances of losing my Instagram is 99%. I'm going to lose something behind this Instagram in this video. And you're going to pay for it. If you don't want it, fuck it. You ain't got to worry about the post. Bro. They say, Craig told you. Here you go, right? He hot. 
Cray definitely asked him on live, and he said, yeah, I told you, that's the reason me and Will got into it. So when I fell back and not even he replying, he's something, the Bid TV, he had the Bid TV page password. I used to let him go live on the page to build his fan base and shit, because he run the clubhouse and shit. Fuck it, bro. I don't care about no gay nigga. So he do all that shit. I changed the password and all that. So that's when that's when he got iffy. When I changed the Bid TV password and that page, he couldn't get on that page no more, and he had text the phone, and no text message be sent back enough for months. Or he get on, as soon as I get on Clubhouse, everybody like, damn, hey, where you been at? You don't be on the app no more. He's like, damn, I've been here. He's saying the same thing that the fans saying. Damn, bro, you ain't, I, I text you like, nobody talking to you. You a faggy, bro. You been on Clubhouse, bro. If I don't need, I don't even live in Barbara House no more that I need a card. I got my own card now. There's no purpose of even talking to you. I don't be on Clubhouse like that. I be on Instagram. No purpose of even talking to you. And you told me you just motherfucking total motherfucking crazy, bro. I'm never fucking with you. So he came up with a gay story out of nowhere, though. I didn't even get on here and expose Will for being hot. I never told y'all he was hot, did I? He just felt the fucking wave coming, and he just needed something to say, because people going to ask, why the fuck you don't fuck with Will no more? I wasn't even going to say he was hot. I ain't give a fuck about him being hot. That's some shit he did, and Cray already know he hot. So instead of him doing that, he started trying to bash my name out of nowhere. That shit came out of nowhere. Me and Will never got into it. I never said nothing about no motherfucking Will. Y'all know I never got into it. I never said nothing about Will. He just came out with a wild-ass, gay-ass story out of nowhere, right? He was scared that he was gonna be hot, was gonna get out. But no, I didn't even tell nobody. He snitched on himself by talking all this dick sucking shit. You hot, bro? Like you know you hot, bitch. What the fuck? That's what happened. So like, if y'all wanna know, that's the truth. Like, tell me when did I ever get into it with him? When the fuck did I ever say anything bad about him? Never. The fuck? They say all the G A do. That's all they gonna do. That's all they gonna do. But this shit's so crazy. Will is obsessed on some Aunt Glizzy shit. Listen to this. This is scary. Aunt Glizzy Bed TV. Will Roy TV. This nigga went in. I ain't been in my neighborhood in three years. This nigga went and started hanging in my neighborhood by himself and start rapping. That's when I knew, like, this faggy nigga on some Arnold and Helga Bataki shit. This is scurry. Like, this is, I've been around my friends for 20 years. They ain't started rapping yet. A uh, faggy nigga seen me, he went in my neighborhood and started rapping. He ain't just go anywhere. He was in my neighborhood. He was trying to be from the guys, bro. Like, this shit was crazy. It was scurry. Like, rock of fan shit. Like, scared the shit out of me. Like, hot ass wild nigga. Like, bro, what's up with that nigga? That nigga's a weirdo. Yeah, he's a fucking weirdo. So, this will happen. He don't play with me. Y'all see him show them dumbass text messages that he crop up to make him look like it's something. It ain't nothing. Or he say he sucked my dick and all this and all that. I never seen Will a day in my life. I don't even know that nigga. When he was getting bed TV shirts and weed, niggas was giving that shit to him. Ask anybody. Nobody ever meet Aunt. Nobody sees me. I'm unseeable. The fuck? He just mad his life ain't nothing. So he come up with all these diversions to try to talk about everybody else. He don't play with me. Y'all don't see he do all this docking shit to everybody else. He exposed everybody else. That nigga started talking about Barbara, saying my mother a crackhead, my mother and all this. How can you talk about my mother? Your mother let you go to a shelter. All Barbara kids got homes and cars. Every last one of them. Even the ones in jail. My little brother in jail and he got a car, bro. How the fuck can you talk about my mother? My mother, you can call my mother crackhead. My mother sick. My mother need help. My mother have a real home. My mother have a home. My mother have her own money. My mother ain't out here begging for no motherfucking money. If she doing that because of the mental problems, bro. Y'all both mentally fucked up. You and Bob are on the same level out here in the mental world. Y'all mentally fucked up. Her mental fucked up is different. Your mentally fucked up is you'll pitch your mouth on a dick. You'll let a nigga fuck you in your ass. That's a mental fucking illness. God ain't pitch you here for a nigga to stick dick in your ass or for you to kiss a nigga dick. That's a fucking sickness. You sick. You fucking sick person and don't even know it. So guess what he do to niggas like me? He reports my pages. My pages get blocked. My pictures get turked down and all that. Because guess what? It's only one nigga in this world that know he's a fucking bluff, a fuck nigga. We know everything he's saying a lie. 
every fucking thing he do is just for attention. He just want attention. He just seeking so much attention because his family gave up on him. Everybody gave up on him. You had to bash your life and he don't even have a fucking life. He spends life in a bathroom. He can't hang nowhere. He can't got no friends. Every friend he got, all his will ass, that shit from the internet. He got internet relationships. He built internet relationships. Nobody see Will in person. Nobody be around him. Nobody hang with him. Will had a stroke. Nobody went to the hospital. Hey, Will, here's some flowers. None of that. We don't give a fuck if that boy died. That man ain't got that phone and that T. We don't give a fuck if he had a mask on. Nobody there for Will. Fuck wrong with him. He's still in my motherfucking lingo. This is what I do on the internet. He want to beat me. I ain't even chasing views no more. I'm chasing money. I can just spend $90,000 on black trucks. I got my fucking new business. I'm about to live my motherfucking life. Will's still homeless. Fucking clown. Duck. He had talk about somebody else's baby father. He got a brother. This is his brother right here. This is his brother, baby mother, letting us know about him. How the fuck can you talk about somebody across town? But this is your brother, Will Brother Page. He need his ass beat. He take he don't take care of his kids. Your brother don't take care of his kids. So how the fuck have you been talking about niggas for now? I must not take care of their kids. And you got a nephew out here that was hungry. Instead of you putting food in his mouth, you would rather go put a dick in your mouth. You uncle what a year. You rather suck a dick than put a cheeseburger in your nephew's mouth. You a wild nigga. Told you. It's cool though. We ain't here for that. But like I was saying, now I get back to my life. Fuck, the niggas are fucking nobody. The niggas are fucking lame. The niggas just out here doing shit. The police, hot bitch ass. The niggas a rat. Y'all was, when you get on live, y'all drop all rat emojis. That nigga's a certified rat. He dangerous. A gump and a rat is dangerous. What's up, man? Shit. Cool. I just got the oven started in the garage, made me a little Cinnabon. Bro, you was the bit. And that joint hard as shit on my mother. That joint is not supposed to be crunchy like that, though. Let me time out. What? But that joint like a pretzel. That joint's supposed to be like a biscuit, bro. That I tried my best. I tried. The fuck? You was a minute over the time. Now, do that joint like that. If that joint don't break like a commercial and that joint break like a candy apple, you wild. Oh, it that's, all right. that's all right. That's all right. It ain't that, it ain't that bad. I thought that joke was gonna crunch. That's my last nah, piece coming out. The middle. The middle is the good part. Like around the edge, shit real around the edges. I mean, yeah, around the edges is a little cutthroat around the okay, edges. I get it. Mm. I get it. See, look, the edge is different. The edge got that crunch. Well, what I was about to say, go off bed TV too. I'm about to just bring everybody there for my bob something. Uh. Fuck it, we going up, y'all. Bed TV too. Let's get it. Let's get it. 